before I cut this thing up anymore, I figured I'd better document it. Um, it is the same size and shape connector as an Atari 7, 7800. Um, let me see if I can get that in the shot. Yeah. And I had another Atari 7800 plug that was black, so they aren't all blue. But it's the same size and shape connector. Um, the only problem preventing it from fitting an actual 7800 is the port is recessed with this um, plastic extending enough that this could not reach all the way in. And um, But I dealt with that by cutting away some of the excess here. And let's see. I figure I can go ahead and document it in case other people are looking for one like this to um, splice up into their own cable. And looks like the original here is 7.5 volts, 150 milliamps. Let's see, uh, how is it keyed? Um, looks like it's the same polarity as the original. And of course it's not enough volts or amps. So um, I am going to cut it off and splice these onto it. I'll splice one of these onto it, put the other one onto a nine volt charger or just find one that's already a standard 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter. And uh, of course, you can just choose your terminal to reverse the polarity on these. So um, yeah, once I've done that, I will have made a nice long pigtail that will connect to just about any 9 volt AC adapter to uh, power the 7800. It looks like this one was 1 amp, so I want to make sure to find one with at least 1 amp. I can't remember if my other ones were less than an amp to know if there's any um, room, wiggle room there. And uh, But at least I know that 1 amp should be enough. And anything over that is just icing on the cake. So um, that means I've now found three different non-Atari plugs that use the same connector, even if this one wouldn't fit. One was from a Brinkman Spotlight. One was from a range of Texas Instruments calculators. Actually, it was several because they had different specs, but all the, used the same connector. It was late 70s to mid 80s that they were using those. This was back when calculators were power hungry enough that you would want to buy an AC adapter to stop wasting batteries on them. So uh, you know those are old. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, we had the Brinkman Spotlight, this uh, uh, th those Texas Instrument calculators, and now this Shark vacuum cleaner. I think it's some kind of European vacuum cleaner, even though this was US spec and found in the US, so I guess they sell them here. I'm not really familiar with the brand. And of course, Atari's original plug itself. So anyone who says that it's proprietary to Atari is wrong. It was a standard off the shelf connector from somewhere even if uh you know there's not, people are obviously having trouble sourcing it and me too i'd love to find a source of these and just make a ton of dongles uh, in the meantime um this should help somebody find a workaround since these chargers are available and you may be able to find them for much cheaper than you know an aftermarket power supply that you that is available on ebay and um just make your own so I gutted it and wired it up center negative for a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter power supply like a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive Model 1. But if you were going to get like a 9 volt 1 amp plug from a thrift store or something, it's probably going to be center positive. But that's easy to switch with these screw terminals on my adapter in there. It looks like I never uploaded my video about the uh, Brinkman spotlight that uses the same plug. So you're going to hear me go over some of the same stuff. I'll end up repeating myself, unfortunately, but haven't seen anyone else mention this online yet. All right, as we all know, the uh, tip to this power plug is seemingly impossible to find on anything else, even though I've heard, I've seen that it does exist on some old 70s and super early 80s calculators back when, you know, they used enough batteries that you might actually want an AC adapter for it. And um, so it's definitely not proprietary or exclusive to Atari, as uncommon as it is and um, you know most people end up having to splice in some regular cable or have a wire hanging out or something to power it if they uh, aren't willing to pay for an original and there aren't enough originals to go around I myself have three of these consoles with only one original AC adapter well I gave one away last year <laughs> I gave one with a fourth console this year so I would have uh, three but even so um, found another thing they used it recently. This battery pack. 
and I have no idea what the specs of the original are. I've looked at the manufacturer. They say 12 volts, but they don't say the polarity. I'll have to take it apart to figure out the polarity. And uh, of course, this is a nine volt power supply, but it does fit. And uh, got round pins instead of square. And um, I spent like hours of my life, even yesterday, looking um, for uh, you know replacement parts somewhere, doing all kinds of eBay searches and component searches on electronics warehouses and things. And uh, then I come over to my mom's today and start telling her about how I wanted to mold this thing and she goes in another room and grabs this and that's what the battery pack is for hopefully I'm not scratching the lens it just drops in there even though it's kind of hard to get out sometimes with no handle to pull even when you squeeze these but yep that's all it is and uh, so I need to find out what they're using it looks like they don't use these anymore they are um, now using regular old barrel connectors on their current models and uh, but it could also charge through the 12 volt DC jack here but that is not the same so if you wanted to get like a lighter jack adapter because that's what this is um, you know auto accessory vehicle plug um, if you wanted to get one of those it's not going to charge this battery pack and it's not going to give you a connector you can connect to an Atari 7800 okay this is a Brinkman with two ends Q-Beam Max Million 2 I've seen the Max Million 3 has a similar battery uh, sometimes with a different plug though this particular plug is model 802-0018-0. That's for the AC charger. Um, let's see. I found a couple different numbers in the manual, but neither worked. They, I got a message that it was not a working number. Turns out the company um, sold off their assets to this Viatech Consumer Products Group, and uh, who now sells Q-Beam branded flashlights and spotlights. Um, I had another number, but... Uh, they're only offering a discount to Brinkman customers. They don't seem to have actual inventory of the uh, uh, parts and things like that. So good luck finding it. I was hoping to find out like uh, if their engineers could point me to a component supplier or something. But I guess that isn't happening now. Yeah, and I guess uh, at the prices I'm seeing, they aren't very useful for salvaging connectors from. And... Um, uh, of course, I don't really know the specs, so I kind of doubt they'll be directly compatible. It's probably 12 volt, since that's what the battery is, and uh, most of these chargers are 12 volts. And uh, I think the 7800 uses uh, 9 volt, if I'm not mistaken. And even then, of course, the polarity would have to happen to be right. And uh, nothing I've seen so far shows the polarity, not even the battery pack itself. Like, I guess I'd have to take, the, take it apart to find that out.